Hey, this is Dr. Newhouse. Uh, today I want to talk to you about ganglion cysts and what we do to try to drain them in the office. A ganglion cyst, as you know, is a fluid-filled mass. So here you can see that I've got, uh, I've already numbed this patient up and we're draining fluid straight from it. You can see it's a, it's a clear, yellowish, uh, it's actually a very thick um, fluid. And I don't know if you can really get a good picture of it, but it comes out almost stringy. Um, because of how thick it is. It's like a, like a gel, almost, if you can imagine a gel. Uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting fluid. Um, it's produced by either the, the tendons, the tendon sheath, or the joint. Um, you really can't tell when you just have a, a cyst on the skin like this until you surgically go in and see where it's coming from. You can do MRIs and try to guess where it's coming from. Sometimes it's mixed with blood. Um, can be bloody red. The first first go around there you saw it was more of a yellow uh, color here it's got more of a bloody kind of discharge to it but we send the send the fluid off to the lab and they can look at the cells and determine that it's not uh, a malignant type of a cyst that it truly is a, a ganglion um, or a, uh, a cyst that's just produced from excess fluid from the tendons or the joints typically this is caused from trauma um, or an injury to the, the tissues that produce this fluid, and they start overproducing the fluid. So it makes almost a little water balloon on the inside. So the purpose of, of draining it is to not only remove the fluid, but to pop the, the cyst and get that fluid to leak out and get the body to heal itself up. So typically we'll numb the area up, I'll drain as much fluid out of it as I can. There's typically chambers, so we try multiple different angles and and uh, squeeze it and try to get fluid to come out. Um, this is actually a fairly large cyst. Usually we don't get this much out of them, um, but that's a very common area in the foot, is right on the top of the foot. Usually that's where somebody's banged it or a shoe's been tight, um, and that's where where I'll see them most of the time on the foot, it's the front of the ankle or the top of the foot. And then you kind of milk it, try to really squeeze it out. Um, and then afterwards, uh, typically we'll go ahead and put cortisone in and a steroid injection um, after you've drained as much fluid as possible will um, try to shrink up the, the cyst itself. I like to describe it to patients as if it's uh, making the sides kind of sticky so they stick together to uh, get that to, to clear up on its own. And I think that's probably the best explanation of how the steroid works is it it just dissolves the inflammation in there so the sides of the cyst almost seal themselves off and uh, the body will stop producing um, this fluid and uh, in a manner which creates the almost the water balloon type effect where it gets swollen. Um, I find that a cortisone injection and draining like this works probably half the time. Um, sometimes I will do multiple injections though it's not uncommon to need to surgically go in and remove a very large cyst like this is. Um, and even after surgery sometimes, um, they can be very persistent. Even when you cut away all of that tissue, they can come back. And here you, um, you can see a very good example of, of uh, a large ganglion cyst in the top of the foot. Uh, we drained a lot of fluid out of it. Afterwards, I've gone in through a different area and really put in, uh, kind of tried to spread out where I'm putting the, the cortisone to um, get this thing to, to shrink up and go away. Um, so hopefully this will help you understand what ganglion cysts are and uh, ways that we can treat them in the office. Um, there's really not, not a lot of good options for treating ganglion cysts other than doing this, draining them, giving it time to maybe go away on its own, but most of them will not. They just gradually get bigger and bigger. So you drain it, put some cortisone in it, um, see how it responds, and then from there, um, you know, surgery if they keep being persistent. And uh, it's, a, it's a neat little procedure that we've got. So I hope this video has been informative and helpful to you and uh, answer some questions about ganglion cysts and uh, the treatments. This, again, doc, this is Dr. Newhouse, and uh, thanks for using our website and checking out our videos.